Welcome everyone to our live coverage of this friendly international between the World Cup semi-finalists Morocco and Brazil. Coming live from Tangiers as the North Africans play in front of their own crowd, in front of their own people for the first time since their stellar performance in Qatar. And Brazil begin the rebuilding process of life without Tite in charge and preparations for the new Brazilian era. Wonderful stadium, the venue in Tangier is the Event Batuta Stadium, 65,000 people here for this one. And as always on these occasions, the national anthems The next couple of moments are going to be pretty loud. The anthem of Morocco. The Atlas Lions roaring. What an historic World Cup it was for Walid Regragi's terrific side. They took the world by surprise and then took the world.
by storm in Qatar, and this is their first match since that third place match in Doha. Well, this is the starting lineup of Walid Regraoui, stuck largely with the group which brought such success in the World Cup. All this 11 played their part in Qatar, none more so perhaps than Azadine. Unahi, the uh, midfielder at a terrific tournament, who has subsequently joined Marseille. The least experienced is uh, Bilal El Canous, wearing number 23 of Genk, who at just 18 wins only his second cap. His first cap was in that third place match in the Khalifa Stadium against Croatia, which Morocco lost by two goals to one. But of course, they've beaten Portugal, they've beaten Spain, they've beaten Canada, they've beaten Belgium along the way in that historic run the officials are from tunisia sadok selmi the main man and we do have the var assistance if required now what a brazil well ramon menezes is brazil's interim manager tite is gone menezes won the South American under-20 title as their manager in January. He stepped up on a short-term basis whilst the search for a long-term replacement is underway. They begin World Cup qualifying in September. It'll have to be done by then. Gives a debut to Palmeiro striker Ronnie and Vasco midfielder Andre Santos, who's on loan at Vasco from Chelsea. And also a second cap to the Roma defender Roger Ibanez in what must be the least experienced Seleção 11 for a long time. But there is Casemiro, Ede Militao, Lucas Paqueta and Vinicius Junior. So huge excitement. Morocco have lifted themselves onto a new plane in world football. They went into the World Cup finals ranked by FIFA the 22nd best side in the world. They're now ranked by FIFA the 11th best side in the world. They finished fourth best at the World Cup. And silence will fall on this magnificent arena as the footballing world remembers the king of football, the Brazilian king, Pele. So it's a return to action. Brazil's first game since their World Cup exit, which came at the hands of Croatia in a penalty shootout at Education City. Came prematurely from their point of view. If they didn't love up to their expectations, well, Morocco surpassed theirs and then some. Wonderful stage, excited capacity crowd and two top teams, one of which is very much at full strength, the other Brazil is something of an experimental side. Sandro Selmi from Tunisia will blow his whistle and it will be Morocco in the red shirts and green shorts to get this game underway against Brazil in the yellow jerseys blue shorts and white socks and off we go in this prestige international in Tangier Ashraf Hakimi plays the ball back into Naya Fagerd and on to captain Romain Seiss Fagerd to Hakimi closed down by Lucas Paqueta found uh, Sofian Amrabat who was felled and it's a free kick to Morocco after the foul by Rodrigo
Yassine Bono is the man in goal for Morocco. It's Amrabat at the base of that midfield. Yassine Bono to I forget. Here is Unahi. Hakimi. He's caught in possession, but he was fouled. That's the decision of the man from Tunisia, Alex Terris with the foul. Hakimi is back on his feet, no cap. Taken by again, taken long in the direction of Hakim Ziyech, headed out to play by Alex Telles. Thrown and taken by Hakimi, Amrabat back to the right fullback, again to Romain Sais. Is that a foul? It is on Ennesiri. Brazil has barely touched the ball yet. They've touched the Moroccan men more than they've touched the ball. That's the second free kick in the home side's favour in the Siri foul. Amrabat with the free kick quickly taken to Unahi. Ziyech. Unahi. Ashraf Hakimi back into Hakim Ziyech. Nicely played. Azadine Unahi here for Morocco. Cleared away by Lucas Paqueta. Again, is there. Romain Sice. Ziyech making a run down the near touchline. Again, decided not to use him, instead exchanging pass with Azadine Unahi. Goes long from... Size, that's a really good ball to Sofian Bufal. Bufal hitting the ground, free kick hasn't been given. Masraoui finds Amrabat, now Unahi. Curled nicely away to Hakim Ziyech. Ziyech with the ball in, which is headed firmly away from inside the penalty area by Roger Ibenez. And now Brazil will look to counter. And Emerson goes to ground. It was just caught. That's going to be a free kick to Brazil. Emerson Royale. Just caught. Little touch. Good ball in that by Ziyech. And by Ibanez was good. Aiden Militao. He flipped on to Lucas Paqueta, but Hakimi in very quickly. Aguerd is there. Hussein Masraoui didn't get a touch. It's a throw in to Brazil, played by Emerson quickly. Lucas Paqueta with the forward ball. Ronnie trying to get involved for Brazil. Casemiro picks it up. It's a good pace about this game. Very good pace about the game. Ibanez to Eden Militao. Lucas Paqueta. Back to the Roma defender, Ibanez, and Ede Militao returns it back to the relatively inexperienced Ibanez, who's overhit that hugely. Easy for Nassi Bonner. There he is, Wani Vredraoui, Parisian born, took over the Moroccan side. Only in August of last year. What an incredible eight months it's been. Don't suppose that Ramon Menezes is going to get more than this one match in charge. 
the beating drums of the football room, and they'll say that uh, Brazil's next full-time coach might be Carlo Ancelotti. Now he back into his captain, with Sofian Buffal. Amrabat saw a little gap and went for it. And the referee blows his whistle here. It's a free kick. Nahi caught by Ronnie, the Palmeira striker. Ronnie is not new, he might be new to the Brazilian national team, but he's 27 years old. His inclusion based on current form, he's got a goal every other game in action for Palmeiras so far this season. There's a lot of big names not included, Rafinha, Richarlison, Neymar is injured. No Gabriel Martinelli, no Gabriel Jesus. No Alisson, no Fabinho. You can tell that Roger Menezes has worked with the Brazilian under-23s because he's included a few of them in this match day squad. And then it's with the foul. It hasn't felt like a friendly international in the first seven minutes. High tempo, high octane, high decibel count. And a free kick to Morocco, high up the pitch in Brazilian territory. Ashraf Hakimi is going to take it. Weverton in goal for Brazil. Played just a couple of minutes of the World Cup finals when he came on for Alisson in the round of 16 victory over Korea Republic. Hakim Ziyech with the curly ball in, punched away by Weverton, helped on its way. Hakimi to Yassin Bonner. Brazil throw. Ede Militao to Emerson. Casemiro. and the break is on. Buffal's away to his left-hand side. Hakim Ziyech is weaving that way. This is Sofian Buffal. Pulled back into Ziyech. Ziyech with the shot, which was charged down before it had barely left his boot. Good defending by Ede Militao, that. Played in an African Nations Cup final for Morocco, did Wally Dragi. They lost it in Tunisia back in 2004. But nothing, I guess, will surpass in his career as player or manager what he achieved at the end of 2022. Ada Militao, Roger Ibanez, and it's Tellers. Vinicius Junior, probably the best player in the world in his position at the moment. The uh, Real Madrid and Brazil, number 11 on the ball here. Back into Vinicius Junior, and he's behind Ashraf Hakimi, immediately looking square to see if he could pick anybody out. Rodrigo couldn't get onto it. Very lively first ten minutes indeed. Ada Militao. Rodrigo. Round the corner. 
neatly into uh, Vinicius Junior, back into Rodrigo. On the inside, scampering across, and he's seen it behind. It's going to be a corner kick to Brazil, though. Played short to Lucas Paqueta and picked off by Hakim Ziyech. Buffal, Ziyech was knocked over as Morocco looked to counter. Hakimi is saying, is that not a yellow card? Good punch by Weverton now. 35 years old now, part of the Brazil gold medal winning Olympic squad from 2016 when they broke their duck in the Olympic Games. Roman Sais. Confirmation of your starting lineups. Sofian Amrabat. Inahi. Ziyech. Nicely done. Hakimi in Nesiri in the middle, but Rock and forwards were outnumbered about two to one. Maya forget. Inahi just beaten to it. One back by Masraoui to by Eda Militao, neither side able to keep the ball for more than a touch or two at the moment. It's an Aguerd header, which goes to Lucas Paqueta. Vinicius Junior, that was a lovely ball, well blocked by Romain Saiz. Not done yet, Brazil, Lucas Paqueta forward. Great ball, and the chance is missed. Well, Yassine Bono came out, and Ronnie had the opportunity. It's quite a hefty collision, actually, between goalkeeper and striker. It's a great recovering intervention from Romain Saiz here to make it difficult for Ronnie, but in all truth, he's blazed it badly. Lovely ball into him, whether he was on or offside, it was very, very close. Didn't matter in the end, it's a goal kick. See Bono with the clearance from Morocco. Dukat immediately into Vinicius Junior. Masraoui has missed that, and Emerson goes down. He got himself inside the penalty area, and no sooner had he got inside the box than he fell to the turf, which was just a little bit too suspicious for the referee from Tunisia to buy. Again. Ziyech around the corner. It'll be a free kick to Morocco for the foul on Azadin Unahi. Good decision by the referee. He would have been climbing in his rights to uh, give a yellow card to him. said it was clearly a die. Masraoui. Samira forward. Samira now under a bit of pressure and going to ground. As there was some contact from Buffal. Samira for Brazil. Lucas Paqueta trying to pick up the pace of that one-touch Brazilian passing. Amrabat's forward ball is picked off, and Brazil will build 
with Vinicius Junior. They're doubling up on him again, and Ashraf Hakimi, Lucas Taketa. Strong header by Romain Seitz. Emerson, Eden Militao. It's been a really good start to the game. Brazil have found their feet after a slightly shaky start, or at least a start in the first four or five minutes when they had very little of the ball. Aiden Militao. Casemiro. Awkward bounce. It's tennis. Take this throw in. Right, a little word with Ziesh. Nicely done. And then Hakimi running back into Unahi, realizing he was there. They were clogging up each other's space, and it's a throw into Brazil as a result. Again. The ball is a cute one, and this here he is on to it. Really well played this. Unahi again. El Canus Ziesh. Masraoui just about wrestled away from Lusay Masraoui, and now the space because uh, Masraoui, the left back's out of position. Emerson has fed the ball into Rodrigo. Casemiro as the red shirt's got quickly back into position. Lucas Paqueta for Alex Teres. The shot from Casemiro didn't come off. But we know he couldn't run away with it. Casemiro retrieves the ball for Brazil. And we're back with a strong challenge on Rodrigo, and the referee says there's no advantage, that's a free kick to Brazil. Vinicius Junior. Lucas Paqueta for Casemiro. Rodrigo couldn't keep the ball and keep on his feet. So far, A little bit of room here for Dufal. This was a little bit obvious into Ennis Earing from Dufal. Ziesh trying to spin it away to Sofian Dufal. Cut out comfortably by Emerson. <laughs> Lucas 
is Paqueta. He's often the man who changes the pace of the Brazilian rhythm from slow to quick. Rodrigo into Vinicius Jr. Hakimi is there because Paqueta lets Vinicius Jr. deal with it. Curling ball is a good one into Emerson. Defiled with a challenge. Masraoui's there too, and they've taken it away from Emerson. Here is Sofian Dufal. And now Romain Seitz. Good-looking ball. Well, he just needed the pitch to be about five metres longer. It's a nice for Keane from Morocco. That's it, Bono. Missed the uh, World Cup game against Belgium, you may remember. Who uh, was taken ill after the anthems called a few people out, didn't realize that he'd been replaced. Amrabat here getting in a little spot of bother. And the field house play to go on, and Dufal charges forward for Morocco and then sends the ball away to Ashraf Hakimi, who just chests it onto Ziyech. Ziyech looking for. Dufal, he's got some room away from Emerson, and puts the shot just wide. Oh, it's a lovely effort, Masraoui on the end of it. It's a great ball from Hakim Ziyech, Masraoui forward from left back. Lovely little chest off and a turn away from Emerson to find space. And Masraoui's shot was not far away, Everton was scrabbling a bit. Say Masraoui just wide. Don't forget, dealing with it well. See Bono has given the ball away, and Brazil are in here. Bono with the block and the save. What an enormous let off for the goalkeeper, Yasin Bono. Very lucky to get away with that. Azadine Unahi here from Morocco. The game's opening up now. Ziyech. Free kick Morocco. Two bit of Casemiro's just kicked the ball away from that free kick. Which just goes to show you that... The, None of the players, there's not a player on the pitch that is not treating this like everything depended upon it. Casemiro was so furious with the referee's decision that he kicked the ball away. Vinicius Junior has got himself involved. The referee from Tunisia is speaking to him. Alex Tellis blocked off Ziyech, referee blew his whistle. Now here's the let off, goodness me, they're lucky to get away with this. I suppose you could say it's a decent save by goalkeeper Yassine Bono in the end, but only because he made a hash of his clearance in the first place. Meantime, Morocco have a free kick, and Ziyech has a little twinkle in his eye. Hakim Ziyech with the ball into the penalty area, Weberton with the punch. Emerson. Very even possession. Vinicius Junior running in behind. Yasin Bonner's lost that. And Vinicius scores for Brazil. 
And they're going to check for offside here. It's another Moroccan defensive mix-up. And the video system referee is checking this to see whether Vinicius' goal is going to count or not. Looks offside there. The header from Hakimi Bono had come for it, got in the right mess. Vinicius put the ball in the net. The flag was up, and I think correctly so, as the ball was played over the top of the Moroccan defence in the first place. Vinicius Jr. looked offside. Still waiting for the absolutely definitive result of this check. But I must admit, I felt that his first run and the ball over the top, he was just offside. Casemiro and uh, Yancy Bono are being called over to talk to the referee. There are lasers being shined into players' faces. I saw it into Weverton's face as Iesh was coming up to take that free kick a moment ago, and someone's trying to shine it into Casemiro's face. Not very clever, that. goal from Vinicius Junior. It's offside. And it's a free kick to Morocco and I think that's the right decision. And it's closer to the pitch with the naked eye. He looked about half a pace offside with the naked eye. It was more like a centimetre, but the goal does not stand, it's nil-nil. Again, Bono, twice now Morocco have dug a hole for themselves, and they're fortunate that Brazil have not made them pay. Here's Ziyech. Picked up by... Uh, Bilal El Canus, who couldn't keep hold of possession, but Brazil have given it back. And now they might be in, El Canus, Buffal on the turn! And Morocco lead! Sofiane Buffal for Morocco! Marvellous moment for him and for the 65,000 predominantly Moroccan supporters in this stadium. Hakim Ziyech with a really positive run forward. That was a poor touch by Ibanez, and they never really got out of trouble. Buffal won the ball back and then took the return pass and swivelled and directed it low past Weverton. who was wrong-footed completely by the pirouette from Morocco, Sofiane Buffal. And it's Morocco 1, Brazil 0 in Tangiers. <laughs> Sofiane Buffal's seventh goal for his country. This electric atmosphere has just been notched up still more. 1 0, the home side lead. Half an hour played. Buffal, the goal scorer. Again for Romain Seiss. I think there's more goals in this game. Now, Canus away to Masraoui, forward to Unahi. It's a free kick to Brazil. And 
and uh, a little bit of nonsense here. Well, you'd never believe that this was a friendly international. Tunisian referee's got a job on getting some help from his uh, assistants. It's a frenetic, volatile feeling atmosphere and both sets of players are getting involved in it. Well, there's a bit of a hug now between Ede Militao and Bilal El Canus, but they weren't hugging earlier. That's what sparked it. One Brazil nil. Alex Telles for Brazil. Rodrigo. So four attempts on target in the game in half an hour. One of them into the back of the net and counting. One from Vinicius Junior into the back of the net and not counting. Aiden Militao with the forward ball for Brazil. What does Ramon Menezes make of this? The stand-in coach for the Seleção. What does he make of it? Morocco have a game against Peru on Tuesday. Look at the crowd. Lucas Paqueta. Paqueta's forward ball, looking for Vinicius Junior. Don't know, actually dropped that. Has not had his most secure 33 minutes, the Moroccan goalkeeper. It's a free kick. Taken by Casemiro. Off the way to Emerson. For Ibanez, Casemiro. In and it's lofted over the top by Rodrigo, that's a big chance. Couldn't control the half volley. He's only ever scored once for Brazil, Rodrigo. This is his 13th appearance. Should have got that on target, really, blazing it. Home crowd are absolutely loving every second of this. I'm sure that Ramon Menezes is not. Hussein Mazraoui nearly put Morocco in front before Sofiane Bouffal did. It's in Bono to Amrabat. Roman Sainz. Amrabat Masraoui. Sainz. Clearing Dufal. Nahi chasing it. Alex Tellis is there. Now Ada Militao under pressure from Sofia Dufal, who just caught him. Ada Militao not impressed with this challenge. You can see why when you see it in slow motion. Amrabat getting away from the young debutant Andre Santos, wearing number eight for Brazil. Signed by Chelsea, a 
and then loaned to Vasco da Gama and they couldn't get him a work permit. This is his international debut. And this series. Still going, Ziyech forward, Dufal forward, Ennesiri. Decent cross, chance for Ziyech! Bit wild, Hakim Ziyech. Right, he loved the build-up, rightly so. Ziyech reflects on a real opportunity. Good play by Ennesiri, carried it a long, long way. Lovely little layoff. Good game this has been. Amrabat. Dufal. Unahi looking for Cole. Took a deflection, he thinks. The officials don't, this will tell us. Really. Did it come off Ede Militao? Yes, it did. Should have been a corner. Vinicius Junior. Free kick. That Hakimi just pushed him. I'm saying it was shoulder only. I think it was shoulder and a bit of arm. But Vinicius Junior wasn't going to waste the opportunity to go to ground. This was the chance for Hakim Ziyech. Meantime, Brazil free kick at the other end. those inside the Moroccan penalty area. Two men in a wall. It's clipped in by Alex Terrace, headed away. Only as far as Vinicius Junior. Lucas Paqueta back in. Lucas Paqueta once more. Rodrigo is there. And it's driven across goal and was blocked importantly. It was end this year, he got himself in the way of it. Real pressure now on the Moroccan goal. And it's tennis with this throw in for Brazil. Ibenez, Lucas Paqueta. Nicely dinked around the corner, but Alex Terris was caught in the starting blocks, really. Fifty years old, Ramon Menezes. He was uh, coached Vasco. And will I think carry on with Brazil's under 20s once a full-time coach is appointed? That's a free kick by foul by Dufal. Driven in with the outside of the right boot for Brazil by Ronnie. Now, Ronnie for Brazil. Yellow shirts arriving in the middle. Amrabat was there. Buffal helping it further on its way. And it's tennis collecting and finding Vinicius Junior. It's an attempt to goal, I think, and it wasn't that far away. It had Yassine Bono backpedaling for sure. Couldn't put it past Vinicius to get that on target from there. Cross or shot, whatever it was, it certainly had Bono worried for a second.
it's the last five minutes of normal time then in this first half. Highly competitive, very entertaining half it's been so far. Goal scored by Sofiane Bouffal for Morocco. Just shy of the half-hour mark, 1-0 they lead. In the Militao, Emerson. Lucas Paqueta. Casemiro, Emerson, Irimilita, Casemiro. Andre Santos is caught, it's going to be a free kick for the foul by Bilal Elkanous. And it is finally a yellow card. The referee from Tunisia has done everything he can not to show a yellow card. He could have shown several, in all honesty, in this half, but he's not letting that go. It's a yellow card for Bilal El Canous, the very, very young man in the Moroccan midfield, 18 years old. I'm very surprised. Very surprised scores from there, or even tries to, he didn't. He's coming on towards Ibanez, who couldn't reach it. I think you may only get one shot at being the uh, coach of Brazil. Pick a really inexperienced side against a really strong opponent away from home. You are being brave. Ramon Menezes was brave with his squad selection. Maybe seeing the bigger, longer-term picture, valuing experience for youngsters over his own record in what's likely to be his only match in charge. Just want to throw Inahi. It's a foul by Andre Santos. Inahi. Move to Marseille after the World Cup as a Dean Unahi. It's got kick to Brazil. We're into the 45th and last minute of normal time in the half. Brazil's World Cup one with started with that 2-0 win over Serbia. It all looked pretty set fair, really. Serbia and Switzerland were beaten in the first two group games. There was a defeat to Cameroon, which didn't matter too much because they were progressing from the group anyway. Then a big round of 16 victory over Korea Republic. And then it all ended suddenly in a shootout at Education City. As two or four penalties were missed, Marquinhos and Rodrigo missing from the penalty spot as Croatia went on. Next ten spot by Unai. Hakimi. Bilal Elkanus immediately firing it away to Sofia Bufal, who wasn't quite on the same wavelength, and certainly not thinking quite as quickly. There's going to be a minimum of two added minutes at the end of the first half, which has been... Uh, a really good watch. It's been one which has threatened to boil over at times. Spurred on by a capacity crowd who are fueled by enthusiasm. Changed by Buffalo on Emerson. Rodrigo back to Emerson. 
in a Militao and the pressure of Ennis here. He got out of a real hole there in a Militao. It's a Brazilian throw in. Santos around the corner, but Marco can launch what will be the last attack of the first half. Azadine Unahi onto Hakim Ziyech. Looking for Unahi, finding Unahi. Unahi's ball is good, through foul, completely miss hit it. Casemiro forward to Vinicius Junior. Amrabat hurled himself into that. It's going to be a free kick to Brazil, it was a really poor challenge and Vinicius Junior is saying, and I'm not surprised it should be a yellow card for Sofiane Amrabat, the way he approached that challenge, he dived into it with studs raised this was the brilliant bit of play at the other end, Unahi looking for Buffal it was a bobble, it was a big bobble that did for Sofiane Buffal there but Amrabat is booked, and rightly so, for what was a poor challenge on Vinicius Junior. It's two in the book now for Morocco, Amrabat and El Canus. chance for the first half. Alex Tennis with the free kick for Brazil. Pinned away as far as Hakim Ziyech. And the referee from Tunisia blows his whistle. It's been a high octane. First 45 minutes this, and Morocco lead it by a goal to nil, a goal scored by Sofiane Bouffal for the World Cup semi-finalists in what's been a really, really outstanding first 45 minutes. Vinicius Junior had a goal rightly disallowed for a very tight offside call. Really good stuff. Half-time, Morocco 1, Brazil 0.